Hey guys, this is George. I'm going to go over George's Excel checkbook for Mac. And the first part that I'm going to go over is the account summary. So here I am in the account summary. This is um, the main section that summarizes all your accounts. And then these are the um, actual checkbook registers at the bottom. They are different tabs. So I'm going to go back into the account summary and we're going to add some sample accounts. So the first account here I'm going to add is Bank of America and then that's going to be an asset and then we'll add one more account and we'll say that will be a credit card account so we'll call that let's say it's an American Express credit card and in this case um, that will be a liability and we'll just add credit card here at the end. So that's the first step is you add your accounts. So you can add more accounts there. So let's go ahead over to the um, Bank of America account. And here up top you have um, different buttons where you could enter data and run different um, pro, um, macros. So the first thing I did is I inserted the date and I'm going to insert also the description which will be the beginning balance and then the amount and in this case we'll have a beginning balance of a thousand and here there's the date selector so this helps you so that you don't have to um, enter the date each time so it's going to pre-fill in um, some dates before and after the current date. So in this case um, I'll go ahead and choose 430, the same date. And for the description of this item, let's say that we went to Walmart and then we spent let's see a hundred dollars and then we'll go ahead and do another transaction, insert the date and let's say that we had to get some gas, so we went to Hess Gas Station and the amount of this transaction was let's say $100 also and let's go ahead and do one more we'll use the same date and let's say that on this date we got paid and that we deposited our paycheck and the amount was four thousand dollars so it's real simple to enter some transactions there's also a category field that's optional um, since this is not budget software but it's strictly checkbook software but you do have the option of categorizing items so the first item I'm going to choose is not categorized because that's the beginning balance for Walmart I'm going to assign that to groceries. For Hess Gas Station, I'm going to put that, assign it to auto and gas. And then for the paycheck, we're going to assign that to salary. So once you categorize them, um, that kind of allows you to run some reports on the data. So if I click on toggle filter, you can use those filter arrows there and you can select different categories. So let's say that we choose auto gas and you can see that it highlighted, it just showed us the auto gas categories and it also totals it. So I'm going to go ahead and clear that filter. And up top there's other uh, macros that you can run. So you can insert a row and you can delete any empty rows. You can go right to the new transaction. You can sort by date. and then you can go back to the account summary. And you can see there that there's the Bank of America account that has the balance um, that we entered based on those transactions. There's also a rec field. So if you're going to reconcile your account, you can see that if you add the R, it's going to add a green check mark to the right on the same column. So this makes that helps you to easily spot which items have been reconciled and which items are still outstanding. And you can see that up in the top right part where we have total outstanding, register balance, and total cleared. 
So in this case, let's just say that the only outstanding item was the auto and gas. So you can see that there's still minus 100 outstanding for that one item. And in the account summary, you can see that that one item outstanding. And then if you click rec, it will also produce a report of that one item that is outstanding. And then you can clear the rec and also rerun the rec there, reconciliation. So I'm going to go ahead and clear it and give another example of filtering. You can filter by, let's say, groceries. And you can also filter by date. So you can do like groceries for a particular month. So I'm going to go ahead and clear that. And um, so it's really simple to use the checkbook registers and go back into the account summary. And that's a basic overview of George's Excel checkbook for Mac.